it's me. How is everyone? Ah, let's see if things have happened. Never quite sure. Is it going to tell me I'm live? I would like it to tell me I'm live. Please tell me I'm live. Let's see what happens if I open my email. Yes! Hurrah, hurrah, I am live. Woohoo! And I've got sneak peeks. Oh, oh, and I've just thought of something else I can sneak peek. There we go. So, I hope everyone is well. Um, I will do a quick bit of housekeeping uh, while everyone's joining. That's not, don't like how that's sitting. Let's make that a little, is that better? No, that takes the top of my head off. Oh. That's a bit better. Right, okay. Who have we got? Sherry from Oregon. Carol, I'm guessing from somewhere in the States because it's three o'clock in the afternoon here. Gwen from North Carolina. Beverly is here. Hello. And yes, it's time for sneak peek. And I, I was prepping. I have actually prepped a little. Um, I was prepping earlier. And every time I thought, what am I going to do with this? And how am I going to play with that? something else came out so we've got quite a lot of sneak peeks from the new catalogue i've also got cat hair everywhere oh dear heavens there we go so i hope everyone is keeping well quick weather report we are in the uk after all so you know we wouldn't be british if we didn't give you a sneak peek um a, a, a weather update it's just kind of Ray today I think that's all I can say hello Deborah from Michigan so yes it's just gray we're heading towards the shortest day obviously if you're in the northern hemisphere so the days are getting quite short um Carol is from Calgary I should remember Carol but I'm really bad at these things um so I didn't um so yes um, and because we're heading for the shortest day, I thought I would play with some things to bring some, some light to our lives, some brightness and some feeling of the fact that soon we will be heading into spring. Well, we'll be going from the shortest day into something that is not quite so short. Um, anyway, I thought I'd start with a quick bit of housekeeping. So if you are joining me on Thursday at about three o'clock UK time, and um, that's Thursday the 9th of December, uh, welcome and you are catching me live. There will be a live button in the top right hand, top left hand corner. It's just, this is my right arm, just saying. Um, top left hand corner. Um, and... That's how you know it is live. If you are joining live, you can we can chat because it, when you comment, I can see your comments and um, and I can react. Yes, it it is definitely gloomy here, Beverly. Um, I mean, it's OK. It's just gloomy. It's quite warm, actually. It's warmer than it has been. Um, so if you are joining me on the replay, you won't see this whole red live button at the top right hand corner left hand corner right arm left corner um you will you will see nothing up there um you can still leave a comment below the description bar and i will get back to you sometime in the next week ish lots to do let's just say i've got this lot to do there are i think 32 pillow boxes i need to make um i won't tell you what they're for because that would be that would be letting the cat out of the bag but there are 32 of them um, fortunately, I had just enough of the craft paper to do 32. So let's hope that I don't go wrong. Um, anyway, so yes, I leave a comment below the description bar. This will go live probably tomorrow morning because it is now five past three on a gloomy Thursday off. When's Thursday afternoon? Oh, and I've got a meeting this evening, so um, I won't be able to work late which is no bad thing. Um, so anything else I need to say housekeeping wise? No, no, I think that's it. Apart from if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up. You can do that anytime. 
during the uh, the live um, or on the replay. Loving a, a thumbs up. I've got to 9,300 subscribers. So if you really like what you are seeing, please subscribe. It's in the bottom right hand corner. Left right hand corner. It's right arm. Right hand corner. Um, trying to think. Yes, no, it is definitely in the right corner. Oh, dear heavens. Anyway, part of the reason I'm feeling a bit not quite with it um, is we we were back at the vets today. I say we. Pepper and I were back at the vets today. Excuse me. <coughs> um, so the vet is very pleased with how he has progressed. Um, he took a few of the stitches out of his ear. They're meant to be dissolvable, but you know we all know that dissolvable stitches are dissolvable by name, but not necessarily by nature. So he took a few of them out, um, but Pepper was not having it. He decided that he really wasn't going to have anyone else fiddling with his ear all that time. Um, but the histology has come back to say we've had clear margins. So fingers crossed. He's got he's finished his first round of the medication. He now has a week off, then he has another round for a week, then he has a week off, then he has another round for a week. Fortunately, not over Christmas. So we don't have to shove syrupy stuff down his throat over Christmas because it's liquid. It's bad enough trying to get a tablet into a cat, but liquid and it's got to go into them on an empty stomach. Yeah, well, that's fun. Um, anyway, so he's he should be fine. He probably just caught his ear on something that had fungus on it that he, for some reason, probably because it's in his ear, uh, didn't manage to fight. Um, so, yes, and the other tests which they were doing because they wondered if his immune system was impaired, because quite often if uh, with this particular infectious thing or fungal thing, um, it's more prevalent if they have a suppressed immune system so they tested him for feline aids and that has come back negative so that's good so we're all good um so i am playing with daffodils i would love to show you the catalog page but i can't because we haven't been allowed to yet we're not going to be allowed to show you the catalog page until 4th of january um i can show you items from the catalog just not the catalog page <sighs> I don't get it. Anyway, um, so I'm playing with daffodils. I've done quite a lot of die cutting because there are quite a lot of die cuts in the bundle. Um, so I'm playing with that. I'm also playing with the celebration daffodil paper, which is called Daffodil Afternoon, which I will show you properly when we flip down. I'm also playing with the slimline envelopes, which actually don't go with the paper, but hey, uh no none of the colors that are in the paper are in the envelopes but that's fine and i've also got iridescent rhinestones which are gorgeous um so i'm gonna flip the camera down and we can start having a look so pip pip picture in picture i have got myself a hot drink which i'm going to need because i have a very dry throat so I will just take a quick slug of that. Oh, that's very hot. I will just leave the lid off that for a while. So we have got, um, I've done little piles of each of the dyes. <clears throat> so the ones that make up the daffodils are all of these and these. There are actually only four of the um these are pear pizzazz. There's only four of these. So there's a daffodil that goes to the left, a daffodil that goes to the right, and two sets of leaves. But I've die cut lots on the basis that too many is better than too few. What I didn't bring was the stamp set. Silly girl. Uh, daffodil, they bring. There we go. So this is the stamp set. Um, so it's great for Easter, great for Mother's Day. Now in the UK Mother's Day is before Easter, and I know for a lot of the world it's not, um, but for us it is before Easter. It's, I want to say, two Sundays before Easter. I know it's a bit before Easter, It's, and it has nothing to do with your mother, historically. It has to do with your church. Um, and it's red rubber. Love a red rubber stamp set. 
Um, so obviously you can you can stamp and colour. There's a butterfly. Uh, there's something I always love, which is a sort of spritz. Um, and and this I don't know what I call that. Anyway, this. Um, so let's have a quick look at the papers. Now I was surprised to find that they are actually on a vanilla base. Uh, these are celebration items. Um, currently in Europe they're out of stock but they are coming back in very soon um, although most of you hello Pam I was about to say most of you aren't in Europe and then Pam's arrived and I know she is um, so this is the one I'm going to use this is the other side of it but I'm going to use the little hearts the colours I will come back to so this is on a vanilla base so they are a little more earthy um, and the colours are let me tell you they are black, crushed curry, daffodil delight, evening evergreen, flirty flamingo, mint macaron, mossy meadow, pale papaya, pear pizzazz and very vanilla. Now, pear pizzazz with adhesive sheet would be lovely for a narcissus. So you could do white um, with pear pizzazz, uh, pale papaya over the top. Just a thought. Um, anyway, so we've got this all over pattern, which, whoops, I'm picking up die cuts which has got a check or plaid I think probably is a better phrase for it on the back then this piece let me bring the polythene down a little bit further because I don't really want to take it out of the polythene just yet because I am still using up my autumn winter papers uh, so this is one of those lovely papers that you can get quick cards out of because you just slice it in the middle and then cut card fronts so really love those designs Quick cards are always fun. And then there's a diagonal on the back, which is pale papaya. And I am thinking flirty flamingo. Yep. Um, so two sheets of that. Then the card, the pattern that I'm using. Then lots of daffodils on a black background. Uh, pale papaya sort of all over pattern. Daffodils on crushed curry. And in one of the, I think it's in the celebration catalogue, they use this for die cutting. Uh, love this. Great for all occasions. And then this is lots of daffodils and kind of daisy things with a crushed curry back. So that is the paper and it's a level one item, which for the UK is £45 or €50, Euros, I think. Let me check that it's €50. Euros. I'm sure it is, but I want to give you the right information. 60 euros sorry 45 pounds yeah that makes more sense it's 45 pounds or 60 euros don't know what it is overseas because i'm not overseas um so i've cut in daffodil delight and crushed curry because that seemed to make sense i have also brought across if i can remember where i've put them there they are um i'll show you the dies in a minute but these are the amazing thanks dies uh which bundle with um a silhouette stamp set so you've got amazing thanks you and R but you've got them with shadows as well I've got the thanks out um, so that's that let me show you the dies for the daffodils because there are lots it's all of these I must admit when I opened it up I was a bit kind of whoa uh, and there's a butterfly, so there's the back, the butterfly's back, and its wings, and other, another butterfly, and a, I don't know what that's for, but anyway, one of those as well. Don't know what it's for. Sure, I'll find out. Um, probably fine. I need to have cut it, but hey, I didn't. So I am going to be sneaky and have my cheat sheet, otherwise known as the celebration catalogue off to the side so that I can show you how these go together. So, uh, cause it's, I mean, I think it's fairly self-explanatory, but um, not instantly all the time. So these, these ones are easy. These you um, just layer up. And the idea is that you have two with a trumpet and a trumpet and the shadows. So those ones are fairly easy. These ones less obvious, I think, is the word I'm looking for. 
uh, because these you have that but you then have you then have this or is it this which way up did they do them that way uh, and then you have a trumpet and that goes kind of like that it it oh no it doesn't it goes kind of like that So it's a bit not obvious, if you can be a bit not obvious. Does that make sense? It's an open centrepiece. Oh, is it? Is it by George? See, they haven't actually used it in any of the samples. Had they have used it in any of the samples, I would have known that. But thank you. I suppose you put it in, I don't know. Anyway, but thank you, Pam. As I say, it's not it's not in any of the samples, not that I can tell you, not that I can show you that. Hello, Jan. Um, I mean, you would know because you've got your catalogue because you're on my team. You're one of my lovely team. But yeah, they haven't actually used. Oh, I suppose if you didn't put the trumpet on, you could just put it there. But it's weird. Anyway, so. Um, obviously, I'm going to start by putting some of these together. I haven't quite decided how many yet. Um, hello, Lorna. Are you still with power? Well, obviously you're still with power, otherwise you wouldn't be on YouTube. So I've got my um, crafts uh, <sighs> tweezers. Clearly not got a brain. Uh, got my craft tweezers. So the first thing I'm going to do is do up some of the trumpets, I think. So what I'm going to do is just hold them with my tweezers. I've got a pot of glue. It's not quite crushed curry. Um, the tiny flower thinlet cuts out flowers for the printer. Oh, does it? Oh, thank you, Karen. Okay. Because they don't show that either. They don't make it easy for people, do they? Okay. Yeah, no, they don't show that either. Had to decide between daffodils and tulips. Took the tulips. Your video so far. <laughs> thank you. I haven't really done anything so far, but thank you. Uh, yeah, I had to do that whole, do I want the tulips or do I want the daffodils? And because we've had tulips, I kind of thought, you know, we haven't really had daffodils with die cuts anyway. We've got a tulip punch or had a tulip punch. So I wasn't, yeah, I went with these. Now you do get two dies for the tulip as in two of each of the dies for the tulip uh, for the uh, trumpet and you get two dies for the rotor for want of a better propeller for want of a better word um, so you can cut twice as many of the full as you do of the half uh, in one pass put far too much glue on that first tulip it's not a tulip, it's a daffodil. Oh. Do you know, I think I think I need to go back to bed. I'm actually quite tired and it's, that's a little worry because tonight I'm out at a meeting and it's, it's nothing serious, it's only the local parish council. Because I am on the local parish council. So it's nothing serious, I don't need to be awake for it. Ha ha. It's always useful if you're awake for these things, I find. Um, but yes. So I will be sitting in a drafty village hall uh, with a mask on. But there we go. So you need a degree to assemble this. You do rather, which is why I thought I'd do it. Possibly not wise to do it on a live first uh, because I've not put it together before. Right, I'm going to do four and then see how we go. Um, as in four of the trumpets um, and then I will move on to the other bits which are a bit easier to put together I hope maybe they're not maybe they're harder there are buds there is a bud as well um, which is nice there's a very annoying something going on in the background I hope you can't hear a horrible buzzing if you can it's whatever's going on in the background oh I've just looked in my picture in picture it looks like it's light outside um it's not 
<laughs> just saying. Right, so these go on here somehow. Let's have a look. Okay, so that goes there. No, that goes underneath. Right, okay, this goes underneath, apparently. So let's pop that under. Oh, no, except I need this to go on first because this is the bit that goes onto that if you want the two-tone. Now, of course, because they are daffodil slash narcissi, um, you can have them almost any sh of the colours you want. So you could have um, white and flirty flamingo would look quite nice. Uh, white and calypso coral would work. So saffron and either of the above would work as well. Um, you can have just white. If you want it to go with the papers, I suggest vanilla only because they are vanilla um, but yeah so this goes under there but that way up okay okay so let's pop some adhesive there I'm putting far too much glue on and then this goes there and ideally if you haven't stuck it to your grid paper when you pick it up it comes up all in one piece so it's like that and then the trumpet goes on that way apparently but i do still need to get the shaded bit of this on so that's going to go on that way now i i know i say this often when you're doing die cuts the bits to worry about are the bits that stick out because uh, those are the things that are likely to get caught and what I tend to do is get a little, tiny bit of glue onto the nib of my um, glue pot and then just move it around. So that goes on there like that. Oh, for anyone who is local, Jan, um, if you're trying to get through the village to Digcot direction from Sunday to potentially Tuesday, you can't because the um, water board are digging the road up and they're closing the road. Fortunately, they're closing it so we can get to Abingdon because that's where I go to the gym. And I would be very upset if I couldn't go to my gym because I go to the gym on a Monday. OK, so that goes... Kind of like that. That works. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, so let's add some adhesive to that and squish that down onto it. So there's a daffodil. Oh, I rather like that. Isn't that pretty? She says, hoping that you agree. So then we've got to do these as well and then I'll do a bud I think and then we will start putting something together now I'm gonna have to guess at how big my um, my slimline card needs to be which I can work out backwards from how big the envelopes are and I will show you the envelopes in a moment because they're very pretty they actually have um, printing on the inside. Which is always good. Now, if you were a dedicated crafter, um, proper daff. Yes, I'm doing yellows. Uh, um, if you were a proper crafter, did I say proper crafter? Yes, I did. Uh, you, of course, could colour your envelopes, particularly the white ones, with your blending brush. But, you know, life's quite short and I can think of other things I could do today. I can think of other things that you might like to do today than watch me blend over an envelope, particularly as I did blending not that long ago. Right, so this just pops there so that's all right so that just goes there so that's two daffodils so i'll make one more and 
and although I have four fillers but we'll make one more and we'll see how we get on might have to make some more I will make up a, da a, a bud or possibly two uh, but I really don't know that as I say watching me paint the back of die cuts with adhesive can't be the most stimulating way to spend your time oops don't think that's all right oh no no yep there was me thinking oh I've managed to get them in the right place no I haven't right so I have got some glue showing but that's fine because one of these leaves has got to be covered up with the daffodil head guess which one it's going to be don't need that need this um, so that square bit needs to go there is what I need to remember a little bit of glue in the middle and that square needs to go to there I've got glue all over my fingers now. That's it. Yes, that's it. We're there. And then, right, this is the one that's got glue exposed in places where you don't want your glue exposed. So we'll pop that down. This in vellum would be lovely. You could do it with... If you, if you manage to get some of the gold glimmer vellum before it goes, or shimmer vellum, whatever we're calling it, um, that would be really pretty. That would be really pretty. Yep, that's where the glue is. So let's pop that there. Pop that on there. So we have two daffodils and a side daffodil. That's not, that feels odd. Shove that across a bit, there we are. Right, I'm going to do a bud and then we will start building. Bud, bud. So I am singing for the first time in two years, probably, uh, this coming weekend. We always used to. Oh, you may be getting some juddering. Just saying, because apparently, oh, no, it's back, back again. There was a bit of a, if you had a bit of a judder, it was probably our end. Well, YouTube's end. Uh, so yes, I'm singing for the first time in two years. We used to sing every Chris, well, every first Saturday in December at a local, not now local to me, at an old people's home. Um, we didn't do it last year, obviously. We are doing it this year if you're tri uh, double vaxxed or triple vaxxed if you're meant to be. We have to do a negative lateral flow in the morning. Um, and yeah, so we are going to be singing. I haven't sung for two years. Oh boy, that was hot. Hello, Marlene. Right. OK, so I'm going to clear the decks of the... Um, the remainder, remaining bits of dye and I'm bringing in this paper and I am using it this size and I'm going to pop it onto a very vanilla base. Now to work out how big it needs to be I did get one of the envelopes out. I did. Oh there we are. So these are the long, the long and slim envelopes. Now I'm guessing we could either cut them that way or we could cut them. I think I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to have to read these. Well, I can read them in both. So the slimline envelopes are three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths or nine point eight by twenty two point five centimeters. So I think I'm going to go long and you know tall, tall. Um, they come in white, which is printed on the inside. I mean, they all are. Don't get me wrong. Uh, soft succulent and smoky slate they are the print on the inside is the same it's just a different color so the white has got black the gray has got gray and the soft succulent has got soft succulent which makes sense um, but obviously these are 
these are, these are what I would call for for white, um, for white colours rather than vanilla colours. But I'm going to just go with it. I'm not going to worry because life is not long enough to worry about it. So I'm going to cut the height first. I want a little bit of room for wiggle. And so I'm going to need that out. So I'm going to go pumpity pum. Right, so it's three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. Uh, is eight and three quarters going to be too small? Too big, rather. Eight. Let's have a look. Are they actually? They are exactly what they say they are. Okay, so I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off. I can always take more off. I can't add it on. So I'm going to go eight and three quarters, which is roughly 22.2 centimetres. So eight and three quarters. Then I'm going to take an eighth off. So that brings it down to three and three quarters times two, six, seven and a half seven and a half or roughly 19. This is where we find out that my maths is appalling. So this is going to be three and three quarters. So we need to score it there, which is roughly nine and a half centimeters. Let's see if this is even vaguely right. Yay, it's gonna be quite tight, but I'm, I think we're gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Right, I'm probably going to still need this at full width, but let's see. I haven't I haven't burnished this properly yet. Oh, do remember, so those of you who, who walked with me yesterday, woohoo, and made the most of the um yeah that works. Made the most of the free shipping. Don't we all like free shipping? Yay! Do remember that if you're in the UK or Europe, if you spend a hundred pounds or multiples of a hundred pounds, you will get a grab a bag from me, grab box with at least £150 worth of retired product. And that's in addition to everything else that you normally get. So I'm going to cut this. So that was three and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this at three and five eighths. Again, I can always cut it down. I can't add it on. Uh, and then this was, this was... nine and th uh, eight and three quarters rather so that's going to be eight and five eighths gosh that looks really huge i mean it's right but it does look really huge so I'm sure that is right yeah yeah that's i mean it's a very narrow edge if you struggle with narrow edges so i did have a comment from one of my dutch friends um, who was commenting on my customer card kits, um, suggesting that the margin that I allowed was quite small. It is. If you ever have a problem with that, you can always cut it down a bit more. Just a suggestion. Um, I'm going to add... Oh, actually, I'm not going to add it yet. I'm not going to add it yet because I'm going to build my scene and then I might be trimming some bits off. Just a thought. So I've got lots of lovely pear pizzazz bits here and the hearts are in pear pizzazz. So daffodils have lots of leaves. Well, at least mine do. So I'm going to allow them to have lots of leaves. They also can have things that are tucked in behind each other. So I think I'm going to start with a stalk. Gosh, it's nearly half it. Well, we've been on for just over half an hour and I'm, I'm just getting to the point where I'm sticking things down. It's a worry, isn't it? So I'm going to start with a stalk, like so. doesn't matter if it's not straight, by the way, because things in nature are not straight. So that can have probably that on it. Then I'm going to have another stalk, but going the other way. So I'm putting down the stalks first because then I got them in place, ready to um, not well camouflage, I suppose. So, 
Yeah, that works. Might come over just a little bit. There we go. And then that can go there. And then we can have another, I want another left one. So I can have that coming up. Can I have that up there? Mm, no. Let's have another right one then. And we'll have that there with another one there. Whew, getting there, getting there. So can you see what I'm doing? I'm starting very much start at the top and work down. Because I know I want things at the top. Probably come down a wee bit more. Ooh, got glue on my fingers. Lovely. Love a bit of glue. So that can come there, like that triangle. Triangles always make me happy. So I'm going to add these on. Uh, I was thinking about dimensionals, but I'm not going to. They've got quite a lot of dimension already because they've got so many layers. Now, one thing I do need to remember is to not go over the edge too far, because if I do, um, it's going to go off the edge of the card. So we won't be doing that. But obviously we can overlap. It is allowed to have things overlapping because in nature they do. Like that. Right, so now I can start laying leaves over the top to hide the bottoms, if you understand what I mean. Hello, Val from Queensland. <laughs> Daffodils are beautiful flowers. Um, they're very short-lived. Ah, oh, now... Here's a thing. Did you know, because I only discovered this fairly recently, um, that, did you know that if you put daffodils in the vase with any other flower, the other flowers are likely to die because daffodils, you know that stuff that comes off the bottom of daffodils? That is poisonous to other flowers. Um, so best not to um, best not to do that really. Now I may end up putting a bit of ribbon. <laughs> she says, looking hastily for a bit of ribbon that might go on there, um, only because there are quite a lot of ends showing. Let's see how it goes. idea of things going over each other. And we are going to have thanks here, which will, again will cover up some of the um, some of the mess. Right, so we need more coming out that way, so we need one of these. Might do that. In fact, I might do, might give them a bit of shape. Yeah. And I'm deliberately having some of these go off the bottom just a little bit because then I can cut them off and we can get a nice clean bottom. I'm also going to have some of them quite short for the same reason. So am I the only person that has so far bought no Christmas presents? Not 
really worried, she says. Ha uh ha. -huh. Because I literally have bought no Christmas presents. I have no idea what to get my husband. He's always a challenge. Because he always says he's got everything he wants, which is lovely. Great. Lucky for him. Doesn't really help for what I need to get him. He always gets slippers because he's, I don't know what he does to his slippers apart from ruin them. Um, but yeah. Right, this is going to be the last one to go down. So did I, those of you who were here earlier um, would have heard me say that it's actually warmer than it has been. The only problem is I still have the same number of layers on. I'm getting quite warm. Right, so let's turn this over. I haven't bought anything yet related to Christmas. Good, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm just feeling really useless about it at the moment. My husband's always terribly well organised. We seem to have this unwritten rule that birthdays we know what we're getting each other and Christmas we don't, uh, which is great. Apart from the fact I have no idea what to get him for Christmas and he never gives me any ideas for what he wants for his birthday. So, you know. Oh, daffodils for your wedding flower. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I had roses, but then I did get married in um, November. So, I want that just a little bit more adhered. So Jan had a wine and card making event yesterday, apart from the fact there was no wine, because they realised they all had to go driving afterwards. Right, so other colours in the paper are, and this is pertinent because I need to do some die cutting, um, bum, bum, bum. I think I might go evening evergreen and mint macaron only because then it's completely different so let's go down here into my, into my drawer of bits because I need this for the thanks so I think I'm going to have the, the thanks I've got any other small pieces that's probably is that big enough Yes. Yep, we can make that big enough. So that's for my thanks. And then for the background. Yep. Right. Okay. Ooh, I've just had a thought. No. No, I've just had a silly thought. Oh, I could put the bud in, couldn't I? Could just tuck the bud in somewhere. No, yeah, maybe not. Right, small die cutter. Now, of course, if you wanted to not use a white envelope, you could use, you could make an envelope out of the designer series paper. Um, I can't believe it's going to be that difficult and it won't be that long before I deconstruct one of the envelopes to get the measurements. Right, so that's that. I think this year it will be the year of the gift card. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are, there are times when I would be right with you on that one. Um, we're actually having Christmas, assuming the rules don't change again, because uh, in the UK we had rule changes last night. Um, but, and I have to say, I actually don't have a problem with the current rule changes. Um, we are planning, assuming that Christmas isn't cancelled again this year, we're planning Christmas with... Um, with our family and my sister-in-law's family. Because um, this is the first Christmas that we, my brother and my family and my sister-in-law's family have been without the last parent. So um, my sister-in-law lost her mother late last year and yes, late last year and we had lost my father early this year. So 
and of course last year Christmas was cancelled so there was nothing anyone could do much about it um, so as this we hope is a Christmas where we can spend time with our family um, we thought we would spend time with our family it's still not a huge gathering um, and it's mostly people who would be seeing each other anyway no wine, no wine made more focused that's not always necessarily the great thing but I do understand where you're coming from Jan right so I need now obviously had I thought the quick way to deal with this would have been to put adhesive sheet on the back of the card but when did I ever do anything easy or quick ah oh, dear someone is clearly pruning trees or something but there is that dreadful wine in the background and I mean wine with an H in it not wine with grapes in it there is a dreadful wine in the background that I hope you can't hear because it's just awful I know it is true pruning season true pruning tree pruning season um, in the UK but really all afternoon it's like going into my head well, we'll be getting a gift card from Bunnings the hardware store as I <laughs> hello darling yeah I need some work done have a gift card from the local hardware store okay is that really a gift for them or is it more a gift for you just just a thought well I'm assuming that they enjoy doing jobs around the house and that therefore it is a gift for both of you. The gift that keeps on giving. Right, so that's thanks. Not convinced by the colour, but never mind. Um, but it does cover up some mess. Would like that to have been longer, but never mind. Um, of course, what we could do is pop that there and put a ribbon there. What have we got? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, where's the other end of that? If I pull that, where's that? Oh, it's there. Right, so before I stick on my... Ooh, I could do that, couldn't I? And then that's... And then I could put that over that. So let's have that quite low down. Put that over the bottom of that. Or in fact, I could do it over it. What do you think? With the ribbon or without the ribbon? Getting away from me is the actual gift. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> anyway, with the ribbon or without the ribbon? In fact, with the words, with the ribbon, without the ribbon. This is the Evening Evergreen Chevron ribbon from the Chevron Weave ribbon with the ribbon. But do we want the words as well? Word, I should say. So with the ribbon, but do we want, do we want the words? So we're definitely having the ribbon. Okay, so let's, let's put the ribbon on because we're definitely having the ribbon and with the words too. Okay, that's fine. Just thought I'd ask. Just thought I would check that we're on the same page. Right. I very nearly brought out the with good right okay i very nearly brought out the mint macaron velvet ribbon which is gorgeous but i have yet to use it because it's so thick just saying right so we're gonna have it about there so seal plus i actually finished on the subject of christmas i'm feeling quite virtuous about this i actually finished putting the liners into the cards that we're sending our friends and family, most of which you will have seen if you follow my website, um, and indeed most of them have probably been made during a uh, YouTube live. Um, just saying, but I quite often, as you know, don't put the liner in until the last minute. So I had a stimulating evening yesterday, putting the liner into lots of Christmas cards, having stamped into the liner as well. And I had to make sure that I had the right liner for the right card because um, I didn't want, you know, real red on a card that only had pink, uh, um, polished pink, for example. 
Um, so I was actually quite careful with that. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of liquid adhesive because I think I might need the wiggle room because it is quite narrow. Um, although having said that, I am going to, because it's me, why wouldn't I, put a little bit of Seal Plus over the ribbon as well. Make sure I've got the right bit of the card. Slide that into place. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Turn it over. Give it a good press. So that is our card. I'm going to use dimensionals for the thanks. I have to say I'm not convinced by the mint macaron. That might have been a mistake, but I'm going to go with it. Um, and where are my smalls? Where are my smalls? I know I've got smalls here somewhere. Now I've got an open smalls. There's open smalls. So... I'm thinking, let's see, if I go right across the middle, so I don't actually need that many dimensionals because quite a lot of it is going to be on the ribbon. And if it's on the ribbon, it probably doesn't need dimensional because it's already off the page. If that makes sense. So I'm going to cut this little piece in half. Where are my sticky scissors? Don't know. I have to use my non-sticky scissors. And then all I've got to do is put some embellishment on and we are done. Oop. Bring that up so it's more in camera. Is that... Oh, no, I got away with it. Whew. Whew gone away with it, Ooh, except it's now peeling off. That's better. It's like having someone drill into your head when you're at the dentist. I mean, not into your head, but into your mouth when you're at the dentist. There's that gnawing noise going on in the background and it really is beginning to get on my thrupnis. There we go. Right, so that's that. So now all we need are some of those lovely embellishments. These might end up being my new favourites. Because I do like a clear embellishment. And I do like an iridescent embellishment. So. Uh, oh, and they're three sizes. The big is huge. Ooh, That's a bit in the breeze. It's annoying me. Snips, snips. There we are. There are the sticky snips. So there's a bit of silicon mat down here. I can just pop my thing on. So that needs to go in under there. That's all I need, actually. Right. Let's go back to the pretty stuff. So. I'm going to have one tucked in. So these aren't actually stuck down particularly. Uh, let's go for a medium sized one and tuck that in under there. And then I'm going to have another small up there. So that's my three. They are beautiful and somehow managed to order three packs. I mean, some of them were product purchase pem premiere and I had two packs in there and I, I must have just forgotten that I'd ordered them or something. Or they came as part of a suite or I don't know. Anyway. Oh, actually, I think I quite like going in under there. So under there, we'll have one. So I've got a three there and I'm going to have a three there and I know that makes six. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Because it's actually two lots of three, not a six. Yep, I'm going to go up now. 
There we are. Right, so there we go. And of course there's masses of room to write inside. Um, and let's see whether it fits. Because it's got quite a lot of embellishment, so it will be interesting to see if it it does. It fits. So all I did was take a quarter of an inch off um, in each direction. So a quarter of an inch on the width and a quarter of an inch on the height. Now that means you've got more taken off on the height because the width is only half. I know what I mean. Anyway, so there we go. I know that doesn't match. It's fine. I can live with it. Ah, so there we go. Let me show you that properly. I love these embellishments because they are glittery and they just pick up whatever's going on around them. Perfect. So I hope you have enjoyed that sneak peek. Um, if you did, do remember to give it a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe um, so that, yeah, I keep building. I can't wait to get to 10,000 subscribers. I seem to be crawling my way from 9,000 to 10,000, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Um, the, all the best things come to they who wait. Now, if you're worried that these are loose, you could put in, uh, dimensionals under them, but I'm quite happy for them to be organic and just there. Um, but there we go. That is how you use the daffodil dies. Well, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to flip the camera up so I can say goodbye properly. And now you can see just how dark it is because it is really, really dark now. Um, so yes, do remember to give the give it a thumbs up. Do remember to subscribe if you don't already. And that is that way. Um, if you're watching on replay and you've got any questions, please leave those in the description bar below. No, I am on. Yes, there's a huge lag. Can't believe how long the lag is. I think it might be when there was a bit where we weren't getting enough signal. That's probably why there's such a huge lag, but there is an enormous lag. There we go. Gosh, that's about that's about a minute and a half lag. <laughs> so I will wait for you to catch up. Um, but yes, so if you are watching on the replay, you can leave comments below the description bar and I will get back to them. I did do a whole load of. Oh, I got a free one. Look, I've got a spare. You can't. Why am I showing you this? It, I've got a spare. Look, I've got a, let me see if I can see if you can see that I'm. I got a spare. I got a free embellishment. Look, it's snuck in there. Woohoo! That doesn't often happen, does it? Anyway, because I've yeah, I've only used one of the big ones. Um, anywho. Thank you very, thank you, Gwen. Um, so yes, I will be back. So it's Simple Stamping Saturday on Saturday, surprise, surprise. Um, I'll try and get this up for tomorrow morning, but it may be late-ish. Oh no, I've already got something going up tomorrow morning, I think. Let me just have a, let me just have a quick check what I've got going on, because I can't remember. Um, oh no, no, I haven't got anything going on tomorrow morning. Uh, from a post point of view so it will be I'll put it up for tomorrow morning but it may be a little late um, then tomorrow night and I mean night um, like half past 11 past my bedtime there's a blog hop um, and it's all things Christmas um, so you may get to see the what I'm doing with these all 32 of them um, and and then there will also be Simple Stamping Saturday on Saturday. So tomorrow's going to be a busy day for me because I've got to record that. And that. yeah, no, it's going to be fine. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever. Um, uh, keep safe, keep well. And I will see you again very soon, I hope. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.